Hey there, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other placement you've got in Leo that you're curious about. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to this general energy reading for you. Yeah. So please keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to, I'm getting all tangled up here. We could be talking to a cross watcher. Okay. So just keep that in mind. If you are cross watching for a Leo energy and this still does resonate for you, even though I'm speaking to Leo, then just take it and place it in your life as it fit, fit as it fits. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and the sessions that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Um, so this is a message being channeled for the or through the month in the month of September, but this does not have to resonate for you specifically in that month. Um, just take it as it resonates. This could resonate for you at any specific moment. But also because we are speaking in the month of September, the astrology of September could come up. Keep in mind, guys, that when I speak of the astrology, I'm speaking of it through the true sidereal system. Now, also understand that you do not have to be familiar with and or resonate with true sidereal astrology in order to resonate with this reading, okay? This is just a reading for the energy of Leo. If you resonate with Leo or you're looking for a message for a Leo, then this could absolutely resonate for you. Yes? And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. All right, Leo, let's get into this here. Let's see what messages, what's going on for Leo at this time. Ooh, black? Wow. Okay, so first I started seeing green. Okay, healing energy. Yeah, healing messages, of course. But then we went to black. Um, creation, a new start, the unknown. Um, ooh, this is, it, it, it's not scary, Leo. It's not bad either. Black is not necessarily a bad energy or a bad color. Uh, what I'm getting with that is um, the darkness that something emerges out of into the light. Now, I did just channel a reading for, Le for Aries. Um, you could have an Aries placement. Uh, you could be an Aries also or something like that. Um, but And for Aries, it was all about planting a new seed, clearing the weeds to plant a new seed. I'm getting the simil a similar energy for you, Leo, but I kind of feel like you're already in that darkness. Now, this darkness, this black energy could be a dark night of the soul type of situation. You could be dealing with some darkness. Um, you could be trying to bring light into some darkness. But really, Leo, the feeling that I get for you with this black energy is of being, I, I just heard, being in an immersive place, immersed in the, the shadow elements or the shadow or immersed in the darkness in order to emerge into the light. Okay, 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 here we go. We've got your messages to start. A few cards here. Okay, you have judgment first. Then you have overthinking. Look, at there's that black energy I was seeing for you, okay? Um, and then you have two more cards here. Let me just tell you what they are before I go forward. They're instinct and imagination, all right? Uh, what I want to say also for this is uh, we went from we went from some color, okay? But this judgment energy of color to me feels like there was some sort of judgment call that you've made. This is the situation that you've been in, that you've been involved with, whatnot, whatever, that has caused you to make some sort of change. Now, Leo, uh, well, hold on, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So from this color here, you go to the darkness or black of overthinking but also um being in a dark energy i feel like there was some sort of judgment call that you made some sort of situation that you've been involved with or that you became aware of that has caused you to dive into the darkness somehow but again this doesn't feel like it's bad because i feel like leo whatever darkness that you're in is for reasons of creating change for reasons of emerging brand new somehow okay now with that i want to say in terms of true sidereal astrology the last new moon that we had which was on august of 20 uh, august 27th 2022 that was in your sign okay the sun was in at the sun and the moon went conjunct in the constellation of leo and 
for the whole collective, for the greater collective, I feel like that was a turning point in which we were able to create space to create something new. That is the energy of a new moon. But specifically for that energy, I, I feel like that was a moment where we all collectively became aware of how we were not honoring ourselves or how we could take greater pride in in ourselves and loving and nurturing ourselves in a much better way. Now, Leo is the constellation or is an energy of pride and kind of like ego. Um, but I don't feel like that's a negative sense. I feel like that new moon influenced you or influenced us really in the greater collective to take greater pride in ourselves, to follow through with things that really honor us in many, in much better ways. With that Virgo, not Virgo, uh, Venus is in the constellation of Leo right now. And so there's that energy of loving and nurturing yourself in a much better, in a greater way. So there's that judgment energy that I'm picking up for you here. I just saw 555 five, five on the counter. Great big change is happening for you. And that's why you're immersed in this darkness. But the thing about this darkness here is this is the overthinking card. Um, some of you may be getting wrapped up in overthinking or the judgment call that you made is that you were just overthinking the situation and you finally allowed yourself or allowed yourself to or you've resolved on the fact that you're not going to overthink it. You're going to simplify the situation. But in order to simplify the situation, you are having to in some ways start over. For some of you, I'm hearing back to the drawing board. Um, simplifying the situation for you and that's got you in this dark place that's allowing you to be creative to create something new to plant that seed like when you plant a seed in the earth it's surrounded by darkness okay and it, it merges it doesn't reach light until it breaks the ground and emerges and then it can uh, reach the sunlight right we also think of think of um, having a baby when a baby is gestating within the mother's womb it's dark place it's a dark place in there okay so don't look at this darkness where I really want to encourage you not to see this darkness as a bad thing instead see the darkness as the potential from which you can grow out of anew. Now, your next cards here are instinct and imagination. This is the... Um this is the way that you can really allow that overthinking energy to be dissipated, okay? Use your instinct, or some of you are really drawing on your instinct, or it is your natural instinct that has caused you to go back to the drawing board somehow, or find something new somehow, or create something new somehow. Straight... <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Uh, I just got a text message from a friend that's actually kind of funny. But anyway, I'm not going to try and work that in here. I want to stay, stay focused. Um... Your instinct is really powerful here and your imagination is going to help you really resolve this situation for yourself, is really going to help you create that new. So draw on your instincts and draw on your imagination. That will really help you if you find yourself still kind of overthinking something, okay? Let's get some more here. You have, next card you have is Divine Matrix. Ooh. With Divine Matrix here, what I really get is that everything happens for a reason. Um, that takes me to a place where like, you know, we talk about the matrix and how we want to be out of the matrix and everything. Um, but really, even if you see like a matrix type of energy as a pretty negative thing, what I see within the Divine Matrix card here or the Divine Matrix energy is that everything is in the proper place. That's what I'm hearing. And you can really... Instead of fighting against the matrix, what we can do is work with the matrix in order to really create the lives that we want. Instead of allowing ourselves to be controlled by the matrix, we can master ourselves in greater ways to allow the matrix to work for us. All right. I'm also getting for you very strongly, Leo, that if you're feeling a sense of worry and you're really getting caught up in overthinking, really just understand that everything is in the pl proper place. Everything happens for a, a specific reason. And I definitely feel like, uh, Leo, I, 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 with this energy, I feel like you are actually moving forward in a really great way. I feel like you're really inspired to make your situation work for you, okay? Everything is in the proper place. 
I'm gonna give this two more shuffles and then we're gonna get into the tarot for you here, yeah? So for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus or whichever placement they have that they're curious about, can you provide us, please, Spirit, with the proper messages for Leo? What's going on for Leo at this time? Okay, you do have the Page of Cups at the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, and then you have, and then I did just see 1010. 1010 is an energy of winning, okay? You could even say it's a jackpot. But this overall energy so far of the Page of Cups is representing, uh, is re really representing this imagination energy, dreaming up something new or moving forward with your dreams, getting started or breaking ground in terms of new dreams that you may have, new ways that you want to move forward. The Page of Cups could also represent the inspiration and the imagination of the inner child. And Leo, you kind of represent that energy of either children or that inner child especially with you being the ruler of the fifth house, which is the house of children, but also the house of your inner child. Really draw on your inner child energies, the imagination of a child to seek your new expression here, all right? Let's get into this. What's going on for Leo? Ooh, okay, first card you have here is the 10 of wands. You've really been burdened, but I feel like what you're going through at this time, Leo, is uh, is an effect of um, releasing yourself from these burdens. OK, you're feeling inspired to make greater changes in your life or to make the appropriate changes in your life that release you from these burdens. With that, next, you have the three of cups in reverse. Ooh, what's going on for Leo? Final card you have here is the Knight of Wands. And then you're showing up here with the king of wands also keep in mind guys i do have my windows open so you're gonna hear the roosters in the situation in the background but a lot of the time many people say that those roosters crow at the prop at the appropriate time that's kind of a synchronicity so if that's resonating for you take that as it resonates uh judgment call here collectively speaking leo some of the ways that you have been expressing yourself or some of the ways that you have been forcing yourself to align have not been appropriate for you. Now, the other thing about the astrology for this month is that we have uh, the full moon in Aquarius. And part of that energy, Leo, for that full moon in Aquarius has been um, recognizing how the people that you have around you, your friends and families, your, your friends and family, your social groups, maybe even romantic partners, recognizing how they may or may not be in alignment with you and if they're not in alignment with you or what it is you wish what it is you truly hope for your wishes and dreams what it is you want to move forward towards also with aquarius being the ruler of the 11th house the 11th house being your hopes wishes and fears and also your community and social groups um what the, the message here for you leo is that somehow you have been trying to c relate to the collective that has been overburdening for you there's something here that is not in alignment with you. Certain people, friends and associations, um, or just a way that you want to be accepted by the collective, a group of people around you that has not been of service to you, that has not been authentic to you, that has been causing you to express yourself in ways that have been, not been authentic to you. And I feel like at this time, Leo, you are really ready to let this go, to let this hive mind mentality to, to fall away for you. And then finally, you have the Knight of Wands here, which is an energy of feeling inspired and or excited to move in a new direction. Enthusiasm, strong enthusiasm, Leo. The Knight of Wands would also represent Sagittarian energy. Sagittarius is the ruler of the ninth house. The ninth house is all about um, higher learning, higher awareness, um, travel, but travel in terms of like going to distant lands, traveling beyond different, beyond your, the borders of your country or uh, traveling to, to like the opposite ends of your country something that you're really not familiar with, out, something outside of your comfort zone. Some of you may be inspired to learn something new, to expand your awareness, to seek new social groups. Some of you uh, may be really just tired with 
<laughs> the people that you have around you or the same old humdrum, mundane, like same shit, different toilet type of energy. You know what I mean? Now, your overall energy here, Leo, is the king of wands. This is you, okay? It, this officially represents Leo. It could represent any other fire sign too, but it represents, technically it represents Leo energy. And the message that I'm getting here for you, Leo, is having the, com the, 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 the confidence to step out of your comfort zone. I really feel like Leo, you, some of you, or many of you at least are, or not at least, some of, some of you at least, but many of you potentially are looking for new ways to express yourself, yes, but also are looking for new connections. You're tired of the same old thing. You want something new. You want to expand your horizons. And the, the, the King of Wands here is, is, is reflecting or representing your confidence in yourself that you can achieve this, but also is representing you looking out for that window of opportunity to, to move on to something new, to change your surroundings, to expand your horizons. This is also encouragement to feel confident in yourself. Okay, to, to, to know and to understand intrinsically that you are worthy of something new, something more, something greater. You don't have to keep yourself here in this same, in these same surroundings, in this same mindset, because the Three of Cups could represent a hive mind mentality. Strongly, I'm very getting, some of you may have some sort of activation going on in your ninth house right now. You might want to look at that, whether it's tropical or a sidereal astrology or Vedic astrology. It really doesn't matter. Whatever you resonate with, maybe check to see what's being activated or what's transiting through your ninth house right now. Because I'm getting a strong energy of that. Also, the ninth house um, is ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter is, Jupiter is an expansive energy. But also Jupiter in astrology would represent the guru. So maybe some of you are looking to be a guru. Maybe some of you are looking for a guru. Or just some new form of teaching. Seek that out. You're really being en encouraged to seek that out. Have the confidence and the self-belief to know that you are worthy of it. But also to know that you can achieve that. If you want it, you don't have to allow this, these same old connections or this same old like collective mindset, hive mind mentality to hold you back. Okay. Let's clarify the three of cups, clarify the three of cups for Leo page of cups again. All right. So you really are dreaming of something new, something better. I just heard some way to expand your horizons. I'm also getting a, a level of loneliness here feeling lonely, wanting to connect with people that you truly vibe with, maybe even wanting to connect with new people, new points of view, new communities that pique your interest or excite you again, or that you can learn from, learn something new from. I really do feel like you have outgrown your social circle or your current surroundings and you're ready for something new. Clarify the three of cups. Five of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay, so here's that Leo pride coming in. Um, and to be, to be honest with you, Leo, I'm not mad at it. But like, I really do feel like either, number one, you're starting to recognize how the people around you or the circumstances you around you are, are riddled with lack mentality. So you might be dealing with a, a social circle or specific social connections, whether that's love and romance, family, or just friends, um, or social groups that are like very woe is me, that will wanna sit around and bemoan about their negative circumstances, but are actually not even really doing anything to, to change it. And that might be really frustrating for you you might be in a place right now where you're listening to all this and maybe at one point in your life you were you resonated with that but now you're starting to get frustrated with it and in the back of your mind you may not necessarily be saying this outright because i feel like you are very loving and very caring you really care for these people and you're not trying to hurt them but in the back of your mind, you're like, oh my God, if you're so upset with what it is you're dealing with or your circumstances, then fucking do something about it, bitch. 
there's that Leo pride energy coming through. But it's a good thing, Leo, because you're having enough pride in yourself to, to, to say, I want to change my circumstances. Anything else for the Three of Cups here? The soul, the Knight of Swords to the moon. Yeah, yeah, Leo. Yeah, Leo. Okay, I'll, first of all, full moon energies, all right? Full moon in Aquarius. Now, this Knight of Swords doesn't officially represent Aquarius. In my opinion, as a reader, I see the pages and the knights as the mutable energies. That would be Gemini. But the Knight of Swords represents communication. This could represent Aquarian energy just because it's an air sign or it's an air element energy. Fighting back. Fighting against the illusion. This, you are really inspired at this point, Leo, to do whatever it is you can to cut yourself out of this illusion energy. To grow out of the soil or grow out of the darkness to reach the light of the sun, who is your ruling planet. Obviously, the sun is not a planet. It's a luminary. It's a star, but you get it. Overall energy is the nine of swords. Again, Leo, I really just feel like you are feeling inspired right now to cut the shit, to, to get out of the illusion, to get out of the darkness, to see the light of the sun again or to see the light of day again. Fighting back against this illusion energy, illusionary energy. Now, that, now be, very, be very clear, Leo. You do have this Knight of Swords energy here, which I do feel is beneficial for you, but also keep in mind that the Knight of Swords is a very double-edged sword type of energy, okay? The Knight of Swords could also be shoot first, ask questions later. Not good in that sense. Um, so be very careful how you communicate. If you are stand, standing back, if you're in this energy, Leo, of like hearing all this shit and feeling the aggravation within you, but like are being very conscious of what you say to people and how you communicate with people, that is very good. Stay there. OK, because if you end up lashing out while what you say may be very real and very right and in some cases very appropriate, Understand that some of the people around you may not either be willing to hear that or may not be ready to hear that. And you could do a lot more damage than good by lashing out in this way, okay? So if you're feeling aggressive energy, instead of taking that out on the people around you, instead channel that anger and aggression towards putting it, uh, uh, channeling or cultivating the power that you would need to move forward. I did do a, a full moon reading um, it's the, it's the full moon and the new, uh, and Mercury retrograde. That's right. Mercury is going retrograde this month in September. Um, but in that, you might want to watch that reading, um, because it's it, it, the, the, the title of it, uh, the power to make your dreams come true. But, oh shoot, where was I going with that? Something about this. Um, oh, and, and with it, we were talking about anger because I feel like part of this full moon energy here is kind of a precursor to Mars going retrograde. That doesn't happen until October 31st. But with Mars retrograde, that could bring out a lot of anger. But also in that reading, we were talking about um, how sometimes the anger is necessary, is good, because that anger catalyzes you towards making some sort of change. OK, but make sure that you use that energy wisely. All right. Let's talk about the Ten of Wands here. What's the Ten of Wands for Leo? The Nine of Cups. First of all, this is your wishes and dreams. So 11th house energies. Uh, some of you may want to look at how your ninth house is being activated, but also how your 11th house is being activated. But also the Nine of Cups can represent a comfort zone. Yeah. Clarify the Ten of Wands, please. Next, you have the King of Pentacles. Rooted, sedentary. Yeah. Anything else for the Ten of Wands? Yep. Okay. And then the Seven of Wands here. All right. Overall energy. <laughs> Overall energy is the fool. So what I feel like here is, Leo, you're definitely dealing with people. Maybe even a specific person. This could be a romantic partner, someone that you've been committed to for a while. Or if it's not someone you've been committed to, it's something, a, a mindset I'm hearing, definitely a mindset that you have been committed to somehow. And that could very well be connected to this three of cups energy, this collective energy, this hive mind energy. But 
I feel like at this point, Leo, you're starting to understand that this comfort zone, whatever it, however it is you've been sedentary or stagnant, whatever it is, however it is you've been committed in a certain way, is burdensome. Ten of Wands. This is, we're clarifying the Ten of Wands. And so there is, a, there is a need here to put up a greater boundary. Seven of Wands, all right? And putting up that ground boundary is allowing you to step forward, take a leap of faith, and try something new. Do something new. Move forward in your life somehow, okay? Absolutely. Now, for others of you, or maybe still for some of you, the King of Pentacles also represents your sense of self. How it is you are grounded and or rooted in your sense of self. And what I'm getting with this energy here is this is really a desire to release the burdens that you've been carrying in this situation and, and put up certain boundaries in terms of what your true hopes and fears, oh no, not well, uh, hopes and dreams. What your dreams are, what would make your life more comfortable, what would be more satisfying to you at this time. And holding up those boundaries here in, in, in an effort to honor the truth of who you really are or what it is you're really settled within to, okay? How it is you know yourself, what it is you know yourself to be, who it is you know yourself to be. So this is all about effectively releasing these burdens for you by putting up boundaries, greater boundaries, and being sure of yourself, being solid within yourself. Sol being solid enough to honor who it is you are or what it is you really want. Okay. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo, please. Knight of Wands. Ooh, okay. First card you have is the Queen of Wands. <laughs> the King of Swords, Aquarian Energy. One last card. Anything else for the Knight of Wands here? And the Queen of Cups. Okay. Overall energy is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups would represent the past here. Also your inner child. Okay. But the Knight of Wands represents the new inspiration for you to drive forward that you're looking to drive forward towards. With that said... You have the Queen of Wands, King of Swords, and Queen of Cups clarifying this. Uh, with all of these court cards here, I kind of feel like this may actually represent someone else other than you. What I'm getting with this, Leo, is um, you having the objectivity, King of Swords, to be in a, to allow yourself to be in alignment, Queen of Wands, with what it is you want to move forward towards, the, what's new for you or what's next for you, the Knight of Wands. And the Queen of Cups here, I feel like represents other people. Either another person, if this is like a romantic situation for you or if it's just a specific person, maybe family, but also maybe these, this collective hive mind here, these other people. But it represents their emotions. And I feel like for some of you here, these emotions might be spilling out because these people are not necessarily emotionally aware or don't have strong emotional boundaries. And I feel a bit of a, a manipulative energy with this Queen of Cups. Now that, rep that is representative or resonant with if this is someone else for you. But also this Queen of Cups would represent you having the emotional awareness to be objective here, King of Swords, to know what's going on within you emotionally, but then also to be perceptive and objective enough to recognize what's going on with other people around you emotionally and how they may be emotionally or have been emotionally manipulating you to stay in a certain circumstance. Or I just heard fairy tale, that's interesting. And then to be objective enough to allow yourself to recognize what it is you truly want to be in alignment with and then to move forward with that. Knight of Wands, okay? Okay, Leo, I like this for you. Closing message, spirit. Closing message, closing message, closing message. No, ooh. We are gonna go with the magic of the unicorns.
And I, I, I was really drawn to this because I, I felt this feeling of allowing magic to flow for you. Spontaneity. That did come out for Aries. Um, but allowing magic to flow for you so that you can expand and experience the new. Two more shuffles here. Closing message for Leo, please, spirit. Last one. All right, here we go. Closing message for Leo. Beautiful. Card number 18, Refreshing Oasis. Nurture yourself, gather your strength. Okay. It's a pretty long one, but I'm going to read it. Here we go. Choosing this card means you or suggests you need to re rest, relax, and look after yourself. That's indicative of that black energy I was seeing for you in the beginning. Being in this a kind of like a cocoon or a, um, a nurturing space, a, a, a womb, if you will, to, for gestational purposes, okay? It is during moments of refreshment and peace that you can re-energize at a cellular, cellular level. So... How can you best nurture yourself? Okay, sun in Leo, Venus in Leo, yeah. Do you need a long soak in a scented bath, a massage, a walk in restorative nature, or a good holiday? What food and liquid does your body need? How can you bring yourself into equilibrium? An oasis is a safe refuge from the outside world. It is a space in which to contemplate and reassess your life and to rest and gather strength for the next part of your trip. So your guidance now is to take yourself into your inner cave of calm and tranquility. Whether you are allocated an hour or a week to looking after yourself, spend some time fulfilling your physical and emotional needs. Your unicorn is recommending that you decide what is right for you and act on that decision. Treat yourself to something that is good for you or fills you with joy. This card heralds downtime for you. Switch your mind off in the silence. Then harness the resources you have to help you on your way. Many beings, spiritual or physical, have brought you to this point. It is important to thank them and remember that new guides may step forward to assist you on the next leg of your journey. Excellent, Leo. I love this for you. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. But with that said, Leo, I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>